Dhaka Community Medical College. In today's video, I will be teaching you an easy trick how to draw the lumbar plexus. First of all, we should know that lumbar plexus it is formed by the ventral rami of lumbar 1 to lumbar 5 spinal nerves. Okay? Now, uh, I will be teaching you uh, here using the blue color, but obviously in the exam you have to use the yellow pencil color. So that is going to be beneficial. I'm not uh, using yellow color because it will... Uh, uh, not be clear over here. So without wasting much time, let's start with. Uh, as we know, the lumbar plexus is formed by lumbar one to lumbar five spinal nerves, right? So uh, first of all, we will draw nerves. Okay, so first of all, we are gonna draw the points lumbar one, two, three, four, and this is five. Okay. Now first of all, we I am gonna draw the femoral nerve. Okay. So I will take it from lumbar two like this okay then from number three one uh, watch it carefully the way i'm drawing and this is number three okay these three things then i will draw the obturator nerve okay from the obturator nerve one line from here and one line from here okay then one line from this and this the other from here and one joining over here okay then again one line from here and the other from here we will take obviously so it will be like this okay so this is our basic overview and last is we are gonna draw the lumbar sacral trunk okay so now I will just write the names and then I will draw the mouth okay first of all this is our number one number two number three number four and this is number five okay first of all i will draw the mouth remember you have to use a yellow pencil color in your examination not any other colors okay and just outline you can give with a black pencil okay so these are the mouths so one thing i just want to tell you over here that number four it is the it is having a greater part and the smaller part okay the smaller part when it combines with the number five it is forming the lumbosacral trunk and this is our lumbosacral trunk okay i'll just extend it a bit more for your understanding or convenience okay then uh, this number four it uh, forms a connection between the lumbar plexus and sacral plexus when uh, leaving this lumbar 4, this lumbar 3 forms the connection between the lum uh, lumbar and the sacral plexus. Then uh, this lumbar plexus, plexus it, is, it will be called as prefix type. And when this lumbar 5, it acts as a connection between the lumbar plexus and the sacral plexus. Then uh, this plexus, it is called as the postfix type. Okay. But usually lumbar 4, it acts as the connection between the lumbar and the sacral plexus. Okay. Now I will be drawing the outlines. Watch it very carefully. Okay, first of all, we will draw the obturator now. Okay, like this. Okay, then this. You have to draw each and everything very much carefully because obviously in these plexuses, uh, there is a great importance for uh, the nerves which go below, which go above like superficial and deep, I can say. So like that, okay. So leaving two lines over here as I said. Now one can joining these lines over here okay so the, this is the basic thing that i drew now joining these okay this is our femoral nerve okay you can draw the mouth picker okay and then like this it will be like this okay so first of all i'll finish it off okay okay this is my uh, lumbar sacral trunk uh, line i drew now watch this part very much carefully okay i'm just telling you the trick whenever you are like uh, joining this line for femoral nerve there are three branches you can see over here okay on this on this number two uh, trunk you can see one one branch going from here one branch and third branch okay so just keep in mind that one branch is 
we are closing over here since it it will go deep second branch it is it will go above right so we are keeping this place open okay this thing you have to keep in mind then obviously here will be opened and here again it will be closed for this for this part it will be completely closed then obviously here closed and here closed okay now like this like this see this part is completely closed you have to keep this part in mind then obviously next parts are very easy like this okay and this is completed a lumbar plexus okay so this is it for a lumbar plexus it is very easy uh, now i will just uh, do the labeling so i have just drawn over the line line over here so that my uh, labeling is uh, labeling will look good over here so first of all uh, okay this is our femoral nerve okay which nerve femoral nerve i'm just writing capital n for nerve okay this is our obturator nerve okay this is our lumbosacral trunk i just told you how lumbosacral trunk is formed it is formed by the smaller part of the lumbar four spinal nerve and the lumbar five okay lumbosacral trunk okay in exam if you also would like to do this like on just one side labeling it is very good then this nerve is our iliohypogastric iliohypogastric nerve and this is our ilioinguinal nerve okay ilioinguinal okay this is gonna be our genitofemoral nerve genito femoral nerve and this one this last one is gonna be a lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh what lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh okay this is it for the lumbar plexus now i will be writing the uh, root values so both for femoral nerve and obturator nerve since you can see over here one two okay this is number two three and four so number two number three and number four okay both for femoral and obturator nerve i'm writing like this for lateral femoral cutin lateral uh, cutaneous nerve of thigh it is just number two and number three okay for genital femoral nerve okay it is number one and number two and for both ilio hypogastric and ilio inguinal, it is just lumbar one. Okay, I'm just doing like this. Okay. So this is it for our lumbar plexus. Hope you like this video. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. And also tell us in the comment section which uh, next videos you want. Uh, thank you.